So let's continue our tutorials on carbonyl condensation reactions. So let's say we have this compound. That is an aldehyde or even a ketone with a double bond between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon. So in this case, this carbon is the alpha carbon and this carbon is the beta carbon. If we have the system in the presence of a ketone, there is going to be an induction towards the oxygen because of the electron pulling effects of the oxygen in the ketone. For that matter, the net positive charge on the beta carbon is going to be higher as compared to that of the alpha carbon. So if we have the system, we assume to have a higher positive charge or let's say higher pressure positive charge on the beta carbon than the alpha carbon. So if you have this compound in the presence of let's say a nucleophile like a carbon ion, the nucleophile will tend to attack the beta carbon and move the pi electrons towards the alpha carbon. So let's say we have this compound in the presence of a carbon ion like this compound. Let's say you have this carbon ion with a negative charge in the presence of this molecule. This negative charge of the carbon ion attack the beta carbon of the alpha beta unsaturated compound, giving you a net compound which will look like this. So we have the alpha carbon of the carbon ion which attacks the beta carbon of the alpha beta unsaturated compound. So this is the beta carbon which extends to the alpha carbon. Then the alpha carbon will extend to the carbonyl carbon and the oxygen. So the beta carbon will have an extended metal. Now this type of a reaction where an alpha beta unsaturated compound reacts a carbon ion to give you a 1,5 a diketone, this is called a Michaels addition reaction. A Michaels addition reaction. So here the product formed is in a 1,5. Um, position that is the two ketones are in one five position to each other. So you see, Michael's addition reaction leads to the formation of a one five diketone. Let's take a typical example. Let's say you have this carbon ion, which I know we can form carbon ions because we've done them in the previous video. That's under the R law condensation reaction, under Cleansing condensation reaction. If you have this diketone with a carbon ion at this end or this position, then you add, let's say, this compound. So let's say we have this. The end here is an aldehyde. Then we have the O1 between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon of the alpha beta unsaturated compound. Or we say it is the Michaels add addition reagent or the Michaels acceptor. So this compound accepts the carbon ion. If we have this compound in the presence of a carbon ion, the carbon ion here will attack the beta carbon of the Michaels addition compound, giving you a net compound which will look like this. So first we have the carbon ion at this center. Then the carbon ion attacks the beta carbon of this compound. So this is the beta carbon which extends to the alpha carbon. So this is the alpha carbon. This is the beta carbon of the Michaels addition um, compound. Then we have another extending carbonyl system which will look like this with a hydrogen. Then of course the beta carbon will have an extended, um, what do you call it, a metal. Then there is a movement of the pi electrons as the carbon ion attacks the beta carbon towards the alpha carbon. So here we have a partial or a negative charge on the alpha carbon of the intermediate product. So there is going to be an addition of an acid, there's a hydrogen plus. Of course, we form the carbon ion with a base. So the base will remain or it will exist as an acidic solution in the solution medium. So the acid, which is going to be the net. Um, compound on the net solvent condition will now attack the negative charge of the alpha carbon which will give you a final product which will be like this so we have the carbon ion sorry the diketone be like this then the alpha carbon will attack the beta carbon 
will extend to the alpha carbon, extend to the carbonyl carbon, then we have double one oxygen, then we have the hydrogen, then the metal will come. So this is a Michael's addition product, a Michael's addition product. Bear in mind, for every Michael's addition product, you must have two ketones that are at one five position to each other. So here we have a one, two, three, four, five. The two ketones are at one five position to each other. If they assume to be four or even three, then it means your answer or your product is wrong. So try this one and let's see. Pause the video and try this one. So let's say we have this compound. Let's assume we have this compound. So this is a typical carbon ion. And this is an ester, even an ester. In the presence of a base, give it an intermediate, then plus a Michaels addition product, or let's say Michaels addition adduct, which looks like this. So let's say we have this one. We have this, then we go this way, we have that one. This hydrogen, then we have double one between the alpha and the beta carbon. What is going to be the product? Or let's say what is going to be the product when this carbon ion from this reacts to with this Michael's adduct? What is going to be the product? So let's extend here. Of course, we have this compound in a base. We are going to have a formed carbon ion which will look like this so we have a carbon ion which will form and look like this so we have this one from this entity to go like this we go this way from this way then we have the ester coming and we have the negative charge from other carbon ion so the next, the carbon ion then attacks the beta carbon of the Michael's adduct. So this carbon ion will attack here, attack this beta carbon. When it attacks, there's going to be a breakage of the pi bond towards the alpha carbon, which is going to give you this intermediate product. So we are going to have first our drawn carbon ion, which will be like this. So we have the carbon ion drawn like this. So let's adjust our carbon ion in this orientation. So we have this as the ester. We just turn it upside down. Then the alpha carbon of the carbon ion, or let's say the beta carbon of the Michael's adduct, will get linked to the carbon ion. So we have this orientation. This carbon is the carbon ion. Then this one then becomes the beta carbon. Then it just extends from the beta carbon to the alpha carbon, to the carbonyl carbon, then the double bond oxygen. We show that we have a hydrogen here. Then from here on the beta carbon, we have two metal groups. We just bring the two metal groups. So we have a one, two, three, four, five. So one five diketone. That is a Michael's addition product. Michael's addition product. Some books call this type of reaction a 1-4 addition reaction. It is 1-4 because the Michaels adduct. It is uh, between four atoms. So it is oxygen 1, the carbonyl and carbon, the alpha carbon, and the beta carbon. So these carbons are what really in four, uh, take part in the reaction. So because there are four atoms in the Michaels adduct, some books call this reaction a 1-4 addition reaction. So try your hands on this one. And drop your answer at the comment section. So let's say we have this one. We have this compound. Normally, if you have this compound in the present of, let's say, a Michael's adduct, which looks like this. So we see how a phenol, which extends to the beta carbon, um, to the alpha carbon. Then we have hydrogen. So 
if you have this compound in the presence of this micro adduct, what is going to be product? So pause the video and drop your answer. So basically, if you have a digaton like this, the most preferred alpha carbon for the reaction of the carbon formation, as we said in the earlier videos, is the one between the ketones because it is the most acidic. It is the most acidic because it is flanked by two electron pulling groups and thus can lead to more resonant structures, hence can have more stability of the ionic state in the ionic state, which is the carbon ion, or in the indole state. So this one can lead to a more stable ionic intermediate. For that matter, this compound will prefer to form a negative charge on the intermediate or the middle alpha carbon. And not this. So what happens is, if this one reacts with this one, then the alpha carbon will now react with the beta carbon of the Michaels adduct, which will give you a final product, which I want you to form or let's say draw or let's say drop your answer at the comment section so let's see how other reactions of this can go so let's say we have the same reaction so let's say we have the same compound which looks like this what we've done so far we have a diketone one n is an ester then this one plus let's see a michael's adduct which looks like this then an extended metal now this end is now a metal for a carbon and not for the hydrogen so here is a carbon and not a hydrogen the so once we've done so far the extending or the atoms which are linked to the carbonyl carbon of the michael's adduct are all hot hydrogens so what happens when the end carbon, or is it the end atom, is a metal? In this case, of course, there's going to be a Michaels addition reaction, which are going to form it in this orientation. We're going to have this one. So the carbon ion will have the linkage. So we have this ester. Then this carbon will now link to the beta carbon of the Michaels adduct. So we have this as the linkage then this becomes the beta carbon which extends to the alpha carbon before it continues to the carbonyl carbon then we have our oxygen then the metal group so now we have this end as a metal and not a hydrogen what will happen when you have a metal group at the end and not what a hydrogen in this case there's going to be two successive reactions the first one is the michaels addition reaction then the second one is the intramolecular alcohol condensation reaction. I take it again. If you have the end of the Michaels adduct being a carbon, there's going to be a two successive reactions. The first one is the Michaels addition reaction, which forms this Michaels addition product. Then the second one is going to be an intramolecular alcohol condensation reaction. So if you have this compound, you can have numerous alpha carbons. You can have an alpha carbon here, you can have one here, you can have one here, you can have one here. All these alpha carbons can lead to different intramolecular outdoor condensation products. So what will happen? Now, if you have this case, what will happen is the alpha carbon, which is next to, or which is the next to, that's this one, the carbonyl carbon of the Michaels adduct will form a carbon ion and go back and attack this carbon, the carbonyl carbon. So we can form a one, two, three, four, five, six member ring. So in this regard, we have one, a Michaels addition reaction, and two, intramolecular outdoor condensation reaction. Now we have these two reactions, we blend them and give them a name called a Robinson annulation reaction. So it is a Robinson annulation reaction. As the name implies, it is an annulation reaction because it forms an annul. Forms an annul. So an annul means what? A cycle. So an annulation reaction is any reaction that leads to a formation of a cyclic structure. If the Michaels adduct has a terminal carbon, it can lead to the Michaels product. 
and later what intramolecular aldoconazole product. So a blend of the Michaels reaction and the intramolecular aldol condensation reaction is what we call the Robinson annihilation reaction. And it only forms a six membered ring. Take note. For a Robinson annihilation reaction, it only forms a six membered ring. So in this, you can have a possible, let's say, um, you can form um, about seven membered ring. You can have a six membered ring and have, let's say, a four membered ring. But if the six membered ring is more stable, as compared to the 4, the 5, the 7, and even the 3, the 6 mammal ring prefers to form than the others. So the 6 mammal ring will form when the alpha carbon, which is next or which is away from this one, the carbonyl carbon of the Michael's adduct, will go back and come and attack the carbonyl carbon of the initial carbon ion. So let's see if we form a bond between this carbon. And this carbon, what will happen? We are going to form a six membered ring, which you call what an anode. So let's draw a possible product for this reaction. So we are going to just join this and this as a six membered ring. So let's have it. So let's say we have this one, we have our six membered ring, which will go like this. This is our six membered ring. And for this cis member ring, this carbon is this. So take note, this carbon is this. So for every aldol condensate product, when the nucleophile attacks the electrophile, it leads to what formation of an oxide ion, which will give a negative charge. I want you to follow. Then this carbon, which is now this, has an extended what? Metal. Take note, this metal is not part of the ring. Now this carbon, which is now this, extends here. So this carbon, which is the initial carbon ion, is this one. And this carbon ion now extends from what? This end to the ester, which looks like this. So then what next? This carbon is now this. This carbon will continue to be this. This one will continue to be this. Therefore, the carbon with the ketone is going to be this. So that's how the compound is going to form. So that's how the cyclic structure forms. Then at the end, when we add a hydrogen, so we have a flask of hydrogen in the solution of the hydrogen, this nucleophile will now attack the hydrogen and assume what? An aldol formation. So this is an aldol which is being formed. It is a blend of a Michael's addition reaction and an intramolecular aldol condensation reaction, which is what the Robinson annihilation reaction. Now, if we have this compound, let's continue. We have not ended. Since it's an aldol product, and still we have what a basic solution, we can still eradicate a hydrogen which is here then this OH to go and form a water molecule so you can have what? a remover of a water molecule then a final product which will form what? a condensed aldo product which will be look, look like this we have this one our system ring this end is the ketone so we have this side we have our metal we have our so we have this side which will look like this, then you extend here, you go this lane, then go this way, continue to this direction, then we have our ester, can now bring it. Now since we remove this hydrogen and this way to form water, we can now form what? A row bond between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon of the formed out of. So this is what a Robinson undulation product. This Robinson annulation product, it is a blend of a Michael's addition reaction and an intramolecular aldol condensation reaction. Let's take a final example on the Robinson annulation reaction that we can post. Let's have this compound. 
I'm just going to draw a complex structure. So this you have this. This is a ketone. We have this one to another ketone. This end. So this one plus. So you see how I have a phenol which links up to a beta carbon of a Michaels addition or adduct extends to a carbon out then now we have an extending ethyl so what will happen when you have this compounds in a basic medium so with these two compounds in the base of course we are going to have a carbon ion formed at the beta carbon alpha carbon here sorry because the most acidic now the upper carbon which is having the negative charge will now attack the beta carbon of the Michaels adduct which will give you an intermediate Michaels addition product which will look like this so we can have it in this orientation you have this compound so you have this metal then you can have the extending so you have a ketone then this carbon will now link up to the beta carbon of the Michaels adduct. So let me paint the ketone. So the beta carbon will now extend to the alpha carbon. The alpha carbon will extend to here. There's a hot a phenyl, which you don't have to permit. So the phenyl is just a benzene ring. So this is the Michaels addition product. So here we have a hydrogen on this alpha carbon take note this is the Michaels adder so let me circle it so it becomes very clear so this is the Michaels adder that you added so you added this one to the carbon ion and the Michaels adder the farthest alpha carbon is the point of reference not this it is this alpha carbon, the one which is a right to the, what, the ketone of the Michaels adduct or the alpha beta unsaturated what, addition um, compound. If this carbon has hydrogen, of course, there can be possible carbon ion formed here because you have a basic solution. Then this carbon ion can go back and link up to this compound or let's say this um, um, carbonyl carbon. So that's how it will look like. Let's see. So we have our formed carbon ion here. Of course, this negative charge on the carbon on the carbon can now come and attack the carbonyl carbon of this one. So this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, and this. How many carbons? Six carbons. They are going to involve in what a six member ring formation. That is a Robinson annihilation product. So let's see how we are going to join it. So we are going to have our next compound to look like this. So let's first draw this one. Our existing six member ring, which looks like this. So this is our existing six member ring. We have our metal here, then our extending ketone there, which looks like this. So this carbon is the one which contains the ketone. That when this carbon ion attacks, it is going to lead to what? An aquosite or an aldol formation. So we are going to have, if this carbon, this, this, this this so six carbons if they involve in a six member formation we are going to have this six member ring which is going to be formed like this. so let's just draw a six member ring so it will go like this and like that then this carbon will contain the oh because that is the point or the ketone that is get that get attacked by the carbon ion so let's see how we can put this substituent there. So this carbon is this. This carbon, of course, is this one. 
the next carbon, which is this one, is this carbon, which bears a phenyl. Now the next carbon is this. The next carbon is this one, which bears the ketone. Then the alpha carbon, which was having a carbon ion, is that. So the alpha carbon will link to this. Therefore, the alpha carbon will have an extended metal. So at this point, now you just look at the alpha carbon between the OH and the ketone or the formed other products. If it bears a hydrogen, then there can be possible condensation to form the Robinson annulation product. So here we have a hydrogen here which is silent. So this hydrogen together with the water can now be removed to form what or can now remove to form water. The hydrogen and the hydroxide and remove them to form what? A water molecule. Then we get a double bond between the carbons bearing the two atom. So we are going to have this final product. So we have this. The down one. Then that one extend up like that. So yes, we are going to have our double bond. Take note. There is a metal there. We extend the ketone. So we have our metal here. Then we have our ketone here. Then we extend from this end. We add our phenyl. We go up. Then we link up here. So this is our Robinson annulation product. The Robinson annulation product. So that's a reaction which involves first a Michaels addition reaction and further intramolecular aldoconization reaction. So try this once and drop your answer at the comment section. What is going to be the formed product when this compound? So this is a trick, which is a bit of deviation from. So I have this one. The first one is this. If you have this compound plus this. Michael's adducts. What is going to be the formed product? So what product will be formed? Try your hands on and drop your answer at the comment section or send your solutions to the email at the description section of this video. What of this one? Let's see we have this. We have this one. Plus so we have this one. This is the Michael's adducts and the benzene ring plus this where you come from the carbon ion. This two is having in the presence of a base. What is going to be the Robinson annulation product? So try your hands on and draw your solution at the comment section or send your solution to the email or the number at the description section of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe so you can receive every update as we drop on this channel. Thank you.